tube how you doing earthlings right this is part what part am I up to again part eight of my space shuttle restoration turning it into finally turning it into the moon raker it should have been to begin with right I just want to show you this picture quickly this is what I'm using as my reference and that's actually one of the the model the miniatures from the filming um, it was sold for eighty nine thousand dollars amazingly um, so what I've noticed is there's no lines over the payload bay doors there's 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 some lines down here where they open up separate air, separate parts of the payload bay and the windows are completely different so sorry about the shaky cam um, I'm going to go back over to my the place where the shutter is here we are and show you what I've been doing to it let me just raise this up a little bit no, I'll just leave it like that um, so I've um, been putting on many many layers of paint trying to get it to be nicely smoothed down and I think that these parts here and these bits around here are the final bits of smoothing off all of the areas that need to be smoothed off um, to get it to be a nice paint job basically and um, then I got it to a point where it was looking too where it was too rough and not and the uh, the moon raker um, there we are the moon raker is shine shinier it's more satin than the NASA space shuttle so I um, had the idea of t getting some uh, gloss mod podge and some matte mod podge and mixing them 50 50 with quite a bit of water and spraying that one with my air, air, air gun airbrush and it appeared to um, well it came out quite well to be honest but you wouldn't notice it at the moment because I've had to do a lot more, fill more, more filling but I, the, the, um, I've been using the cheapest possible paint because that's what I can afford uh, it's from the works it's their uh, in fact actually show you it it's this stuff from the works um, two pounds for 200 millilitres of white paint and um, I'd, I'd probably been I've probably done about <coughs> 30 coats probably of a uh, diff of bear of a uh, no, probably more than that actually probably more like 50 spraying on very uh, light thin coats of paint to try and get it to be to go white and um, it, it, the, the paint surface was very rough it was very rough and the Mod Podge when I sprayed it on it just suddenly went really quite nice and smooth I mean you can see some areas where it's actually come up quite well um, I've noticed also on the the, the uh, Moonraker one that these details here are not on the model so I'm probably going to remove those on the uh, model the miniature for filming a little bit of rubbing down here to do still um, and also I've filled in the lines on the cargo bay doors which I took a long long time to try and re redo after my filling and Whatever. Now I've now I've had to fill them again because I've noticed on the model that they're not there, and also you might notice that I've started to 
um, fill in the windows and make them more accurate to the the model the um, the version in the film um, I only mixed up a certain amount of filler and I'm going to be mixing up a little bit more to finish them off but I think they're coming out quite well obviously got to rub down once it's uh, once it's dried off but you and also um, you might notice that there's some solid rocket boosters here um, I've been repairing and filling and rubbing down the boosters and now I think they're ready for paint also I've still got one of these, these are the, um, the the rockets that they use to jettison the uh, the boosters, fly, you know, to shoot them away from the shut the, the the fuel tank when it's after it's launched, and then they get reused, as you know, may you know. Um, so I've got one more one of more of these to add. Um, I've already added. To the three ones that were missing on this side, and I think they've come out really well. Although I've noticed, just noticed a little bit that I need to rub down on the back there. I'll do that. And so I've got, I've um, already uh, cast up this little piece here, which was the three, a set of the three. Just uh, <coughs> playing one of my videos. Um, yeah, so I've already cast up this. Only only one of them. I only need one of them to replace this one that's missing. So I'm gonna, just going to cut that one off and use this one here and uh, attach that one to the model, to the um, this booster. And I've also been rubbing down and filling with all of the bad bad workmanship when I was uh, a youngster um, and trying to repair this I've added, well, this bit was missing this little sort of square bit here was missing uh, well, it wasn't missing, it had broken off but, um, so I've, put, I've glued that bit on and I've also um, I've got the, uh, the struts and that that attach to Attach. Yeah, I must. Do I go on that way or this way? I think they go on that way round. I'm not sure. I can't. No, they go on that way round. Because that bit fits in there. That bit on there, and I also have this bit that goes on to here. See if I can do a little dry fit just to show you. Well, what I'm trying to basically say is that this bit is missing, so I've just got to replace that bit with a bit of um, a bit of plastic, um, probably, and then all of the um, the the, the fuel tank. Um, Parts that go on that attach on, on to underneath the shuttle, uh, and then there's the pipe that goes up here. So they have to be quite carefully put on, or else the, the shuttle with these two holes won't fit on it properly. So um, I'm quite sure. Oh, yeah, these, these other three, two, three holes are for the uh, these little pipes that um, don't actually line up very well at all. But I'm going to have to leave this one on here. But I'm going to have to replace these pipes with a bit of um, plastic um, and so yeah that's how far I've got um, it'll be, be quite nice really when I've got all three of them sitting together with the Moonraker with its boosters and fuel tank and the Columbia and um, Atlantis all sort of sitting next to each other I don't quite know where I want to put them in my flat probably end up having to hang them up maybe um, but yeah it'll be quite nice I think once they're all done and uh, 
can see all the differences between all the different space shuttles now are of course more like many more shuttles out there that I could do there's the Armageddon ones there's Deep Impact there's the ones from um, for all mankind the, the, uh, the Pathfinder one but that's a completely different space shuttle um, but yeah I'm, and there's a another one as well from a documentary about um, the Pan Universe a Pan Am space shuttle that crashed on the moon and uh, then there's um, but yeah, there's lots and lots and lots of different space shuttles that can be done. But I'm going to leave it at these three. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's my little video just to show you what's been going on with my space shuttle restoration that was to be Columbia, no Enterprise, then Columbia, and then reverted back to its original original model use which is going to be Moonraker, Moonraker 6 from uh, the 1979 James Bond film Moonraker funny enough. anyway hope you like this video and um, please like and subscribe if you did if you haven't done so already and uh, please leave some feedback in the form of a comment if you uh, want to comment on it at all anyway and share if you like find anyone that might find this interesting. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little video and take care and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.